we are here to show you five ways to take awesome dance photos with your iPhone. Hello everyone, I am in Los Angeles with Charlotte, an awesome dancer, and her really cool mom, Michelle. And we are here because I wanna show you how to take some awesome dance photos with your phone. Fact is, you see a lot of dance photos out there, right? And a lot of them aren't that great. But here's the thing, Charlotte and all you dancers out there, you want content to post every single day on Instagram, but yet you can't do a professional photo shoot every week. So what you do, grab mom, grab dad, Take them outside, grab your iPhone, and teach them how to take some awesome pictures. That's what you're gonna learn today in this video. Charlotte would like to remind you to subscribe and turn on notifications. By the way, Charlotte's really not this tall. Buy my new book. It's a New York Times bestseller, Born to Dance. It's awesome. Seriously, go buy it right now. Stop, let's wait. Okay, have you clicked? Have you bought it? You bought it? Good, thanks. Okay, let's do the video. First of all, dancers, you're wearing too much black. If you wear black, there's a chance that you're gonna blend right into the background. Let me show you, Michelle. Why don't you take a photo of Charlotte against this door? Okay. By the way, whoever lives here, thank you. Okay. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pose. Really get into that oversplit, smile. Now look at this amazing pose. Isn't this beautiful? You know what would make this even better? What if she was wearing bright pink? Isn't that better? So much better. Now dancers, don't wear loose clothing. It interrupts the line of your body. Look at this, it's flowing out all over the place. What happens if Charlotte tries to do a back bend and touch this fountain like it's a hot day and she wants to cool off? Let's see what happens with a loose shirt. Okay, ready? Take this photo. Cool, oh good, okay. Charlotte, right arm up just a little bit and straighten the fingers a bit, stretch more. Good, oh my gosh, awesome. See how this is hanging, all this? You can't see the line of the back. What if she was wearing something really, really tight? Look at that. Look at how much better that is. Look at that line, right? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. First two lessons you've learned, bright and tight. Boom. Another tip, get out of the direct sun. I mean, when this light is this bright, it just gets washed out all over the place and it creates shadows, very unpleasant. Let's show you. I'm also very pale, I, I, I need sunscreen, okay. All right, good, beautiful. Uh, oh, your lines are so pretty. All right, leg again, leg again, higher. Do you guys see how positive she's being with her daughter? This is just a point I wanna make. Always positivity, right? I mean, like you're giving her some positive feedback that makes her feel great, not to mention, they work so hard, a lot of times the first reaction is, oh, point your foot, oh God, you're relevant. Instead, just like, in, like celebrate them and then give them corrections. It's just a much healthier way. I just wanted to say that, you're awesome. Okay, Thank keep you. going, sorry. Yes, great. Take a look at that photo, and what you'll see is, is she's in a lot of shadow, and as a result, she doesn't stand out from the background as much. In cases like that, when you find direct sun, instead, just go across the street, find some shade. Also, take a look, you see? There's red in the background. She's wearing red, that's always really cool to use complementary or matching colors. Okay, go again. Good, I think I got it, Jordan. So check it out, you see she pops a little bit more from the background than she did in the other one with the sun. It's easy, find the shade. Thank you. Here's a mistake I see a lot. You're too far away from the dancer. Get closer. Michelle, take the shot. Are you ready? Okay, gotcha. All right, good, perfect. Now, just get closer, here we go, go on. Charlotte, come closer, wait, keep going, keep going, right there. Okay, let's talk about leaping. Leaping is really hard to capture. There's certain jumps that are exceptionally hard because they're so fast. For example, an aerial, really hard, let's see. What you can do with your phone is hit the burst and you might get lucky, but when they're really fast wax like that, it's really hard. Another one that's hard is a Firebird, show. 
Now, a jump that's a lot easier to do is a stag leap. They stand stationary, they go straight up, and they tend to elevate a little bit longer. Also, crosswalks are really fun for a stag leap. It's kind of like they're crossing the street, so it's a story on top of the cool photo. So let's uh, show stag leap. So she goes standing, and then boom, go. Oh, great job, thank you. Another example of a jump that doesn't whack too fast is a grand jeté, so just set your phone on burst and track the dancer. Okay, go. One bonus tip, shoot until they're absolutely exhausted. Now, I hope that you all learned something, most importantly, enjoyed the video a little bit. Leave a comment below telling us your biggest photography challenge, and if we get 5,000 comments, we'll do another video with five more tips. But that's it, you have fun? Oh my gosh. You so guys much. rocked it. Awesome. I so much. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> what if she was wearing bright pink? What if she was wearing bright pink? My shoulder's starting to get a little tired. So. If you like that video, please give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Now you know what I did when I hit a million subscribers. I did a photo shoot in a leotard and tutu. Do you have a crazy idea for two million? If so, leave a comment below and make sure you turn on notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss this. Okay, let's get coffee.